Alright guys, well welcome back to some more Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So we're back at my house, because I just dumped all of my uh, bows and shields and stuff back up on the wall. So we have those for the adventure. And we are now heading out for Death Mountain. But, before we do that, we have one more thing we need to actually do. Have I never been... I don't think I've ever gone over that way. Let me go explore that real quick. Uh, and then we're going to hit the Fairy Fountain, because we collected a whole bunch of Ice Key Swings and things. So we should be able to upgrade our, uh, all of our uh, armor, so that way when we go to Death Mountain, we won't die of the heat. Yeah, I don't think I've ever been over here. There might actually be a shrine sitting over here. One of the last 13, I think, we're down to? There's not many left. Yeah, there's a bunch of moblins in the woods, but they're always there, so... Oop, there's something I can blow up. Yeah, we have never been over here. It's right next to one of the major cities, but we kind of, like, were all storied out, so we wanted to go on the adventure, so we kind of just left this region entirely. Alright. Whoop! That's only a chest. What do we get? Hey, I will take money. Oh, hey, there's a raft here. What a cool little area. Is that a stone talus right there? It is! Ah! <laughs> Alright, that is... actually, you know... Ugh. I'm trying to think of which ones of these symbols I can actually remove. Let's remove this one. And mark a stone talus location right here. We'll go put our warrior suit on so we can finish this guy up really quickly. Oh, it's so nice not to have to deal with the cold. Wow. I just mow through that. He just did not even stand a chance. Damn. Alright, back to our stealth suit as we travel along this area. Alright, so let's see what we actually have. There's a forest here, forest here, and then there's, like, definitely a Korok thing up here. Have we ever been to the Peak of Awakening? Maybe we haven't. Oh, I see the Korok. Oh boy, it's another bow challenge. Get ready to, you know, hate my skills. Um... Oh, I can actually switch off of my uh, arrows now. That's nice. Oh, fuck you, game. Oh. Well, this one is not actually that hard once you figure out the trick of it. Still costs like 10 arrows. That's an interesting looking graphical thing there. Oh, this is almost certainly a roll a Korok thing down into the bottom, maybe? Or is it just a random mine area? Oh, you guys aren't even worth using the sword on. Ow. Deserve that. Totally deserve that. Oh, actually, we might end up delaying our uh, trip to Death Mountain just a touch, because I forgot we had the uh, this uh, forest thing up above the Korok Forest. Uh, Typhlo Ruins to go and explore. So we can go check that place out. Oh, oh damn it. I thought those orange flowers were actually a uh, another Korok thing. Oh. 
I see a Korok thing way in the distance, inside the tree. Wow, I never get a mushrooms anymore. I've been... I've been out of the forest for so long that mushrooms and stuff are... Nearly killed myself with that tree there. Or something rare again. Can I just, like, break that with a bomb? Okay, good. That actually saves me arrows, because I am really, really low on arrows. Alright. We got ourselves a Korok. I'm not seeing a rock poised above this valley area. Let me see if they're over this way more. But this look, definitely looks like the roll a rock down into it, it'll fall in a hole, and there's a Korok kind of a thing. But it just looks like a um, like meteor impact crater. Oh, there's a lot of peblets here. I see what this area is. This would have been like an early introduction to them. Nope, nothing under the normal stone. Oh my gosh, I could have just picked them up for a year. All this time. You just pick them up and you drop them, and they just blow up. I never knew that. I was thinking there might be, like, a Korok under them, but the Koroks are only under rocks that are, like, perfectly unique. Not, like, rocks that are just every- Alright, I'm lifting everyone up now. There was loot. Nope. Yay, loot. You don't really particularly need it, but loot is loot. All right. What do we got up here? I know there's another Korok at the top of the waterfall, because there's three trees in, in a row. And whenever there's three trees in a row, it's guaranteed to be a Korok. Oh, hey, we haven't seen, like, a speed lizard in a long time. Hightail lizard. Is there anything else to this, uh, forest area? Because this isn't a... No, that's not a Talos. Some silent shrooms. Well, nothing else really here. Not seeing anything obviously Korok-y or anything like that. No tr rocks on top of trees. Sometimes a forest is just a forest, but there's honey. Hello, squirrel. There's a squirrel up in the tree. Hello, squirrel. Goodbye, squirrel. Oh, look at that! Alright. Actually, let's first see. Nope, no Magnesis chests. Alright, we need to switch over to our Zora tunic, which is our current maxed armor set. I think it's our only fully maxed armor set. Some amber. I wasn't really expecting much. Oh, there is a Korok spot. Luckily, we got three stamina, so we can just spam. Wow, it uses so little stamina to dash with this. That is nuts. Can I just swim through this? Because that'd be really nice, Korok. Now you're gonna make me jump. Yeah, I'd probably have to jump from the top of the waterfall. Ugh. How'd that mighty carp die? That was strange. Ah, oh, it's been so long since we've gone up to waterfall. Jeez, I didn't even use a full stamina bar for that. That is nuts. Alright, so right over here is the Korok thing. Okay, to make the trees match. So the only tree they should have is that one branch in the 
back? Yeah. And that one I'm just gonna shoot off. Oh wait, I'm using the wrong bow. Ah. You know, I probably missed so many of these make the trees match puzzles. Like, it's not exactly the most obvious one. Now yeah, I've got my arrow back, at least. And we'll go back to the 38 bow that has no stats on it. Um, do, 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 that's a normal tree set. Oh, there's another Korok spot there. Alright. And a lot of wind, like, holy crap. We haven't visited our ice dragon friend in ages. No, no, bad wind. Keep fighting it. I can do this. Just a little further. I missed. Freaking missed. You gotta be kidding me. Uh... Okay. Really? They are making you work for this, or I just suck. One of the two. Ooh, there's actually a rare uh, mineral thing over there. Alright, get my stamina back. Oh, come on. Okay, this must be a you-have-to-jump-from-a-certain-spot one. Alright. And now the Octorok has seen me. Come here, you. Love that spin attack. like ledges that you can utilize that way. Yeah, we're wasting a lot of time for two Koroks, but... Oh, three Koroks. Alright, I'll take three Koroks. Stop it. No. Um, here. Easy! Hey, we did go up this ice mountain really fast, so there's probably, like, a lot of stuff over here that we haven't done yet, but... Alright, back on track. Jump down, get that Korok. Go and get the next Korok on the waterfall after it, and then we're good, and we'll call. We'll head over to the Great Fairy Fountain. I'm just gonna keep fighting this one so I don't mess it up a fifth time. Boom! Okay, I did it correctly that time. Alright. Get the other one, we'll be good to go. Damn it! Alright. We have to get the glide off of the swim upwards in order to do that next one. But 
But a lot of these actually require you to have traveled a certain vertical height when you fall into them, so it's kind of annoying. Got it. All right, sweet. No, I don't- damn it! I want to take a capture. I want to get the map. The buttons are in really similar locations. I've actually never been to the Peak of Awakening. Uh, yeah, we're right here. Why the hell not? Sorry, guys. Let's like delay for our delay. Come on. Ugh. Swim upward. It shouldn't take too long to get to the top of this thing, though, because we have all the cold uh, clothes and stuff. And I don't think it actually even looks like it's cold, so that'll be even quicker. Check that tree, make sure there's no rock on top that has a Korok. Uh, it's a bird's nest, I think. Yep, bird eggs. I did leave that rare ore deposit, but honestly, like, I'm not running back for it. Alright, we don't need the Zora suit anymore. Let's get our mountain climbing gear on. There might even be a shrine up here. I mean, this is a, like, peak of awakening. Sounds like a pretty important place. Glad I've got all this stamina, though. Jeez. Actually, Rivali! I love that ability. Alright, we're actually starting to get cold. Luckily, not an issue. Don't really need to use this one, but I wanted to burn off the last one. Really? A Korok? That's all that's on the Peak of Awakening? Wow. <laughs> that was the bridge we went, went down to our first memory. There's a shrine in that lake under, or the underneath the waterfall over here. There's an interesting tree grove over there. As we yet again, you know... Actually, we're heading in the right direction, because the fairy fountain's just over the hills over here. So we're heading in sort of the right direction for it. Plus, it's a nice rainy day for a flight. <gasps> the mountain! The mountain! Um, okay. Look in this valley. Oop, there's a Korok puzzle. All right. The mountain's glowing. The mountain is glowing. Do the Korok puzzle. Close enough. See if anything's in this valley, and if so, mark it, otherwise leave. All right, Hinox is in the valley. All right, let's get rid of... I'm well aware that there's a Korok on that bridge. We're not going to fight the Hinox, although I will check to see if I need a picture of its particular color. No, I'm good. All right. The mountain is glowing. Uh, where's the mountain? It's somewhere... Here it is. We're finally going to see what happens over here. Finally. We've been so unlucky because every time we're up on this mountain, it's the wrong, it's not a glowing night. All right, so I need to get my stealth suit on. Hello, Korok, that's randomly sitting right next to the shrine for no apparent reason. Alright, stealth suit. 
That is not the stealth suit, Link. Still glowing? <gasps> it's a bloopy fountain! These special bloopies? Nope, they're normal bloopies. Although that's a special looking bloopy. Lord of the Mountain. I'm gonna go ride it. Well, they just all scattered. No! No, you son of a bitch! So you have to get to him without spooking any of the bloopies? Really? Or was it a time-based thing since it's 3 a.m.? Aw, oh, man. Alright, well, we'll have to make it... Can you just come back? No. Damn it! Alright, we're gonna have to make a goal of actually riding that thing. Ah, oh, that drives me nuts. It's back. Got ten minutes to get to it. Ah! Yes! Soothe it, soothe it, soothe it, soothe it. Three bars of stamina, baby! Oh, oh, what's that? Three bars isn't enough stamina? Um, ooh, I actually need to make... Oh, right, now I no, got more! Ha ha! Yes! Lord of the Mountain! dun 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 Look how awesome he looks. I right, gotta be careful which way I'm walking. Well, there's a bloopy. Oh, this is so cool. All right, I'm gonna go see if I can register him at the uh, shrine or at the uh, stable. All right, what is the nearest stable to me? Um, I think if I take a left and go to that one. Depends where I come out of this uh, hillside slope. Oh, that's so cool! He's got five stamina. It probably won't let me register him because it never does. But woo! The Lord of the Mountain. See, now that is a worthwhile detour. Easy, buddy. Easy. Easy. You're actually a very good listener, too. Like, he doesn't fight me very much, which is really surprising. Come, my horsey friends! For I am riding the Lord of the Mountain! Run in fear of my awesomeness! Wait a second! It's got infinite stamina! I can't get rid of that stamina bar! Oh, that is cool. It also makes this a very quick trip. Oh, 
Glad it didn't knock me off. Thank you, Revali. Oop. Alright, we're back on the road. I'm almost certain it's not going to let me register it, but I've got to try. You get him, Lord of the Mountain. Take it easy going across the bridge. Hello, fellow traveler. My horse is better than yours. Whoa, easy there, buddy. I want to brag a little bit. Yeah. Probably know this, but the monsters appear only at night. Yeah, yeah. You're not gonna say anything about my awesome glowing rabbit horse thing? Stable, but stay away, won't you? If you have a horse, we can help you change its mane or gear style. Always having to meet new horses, stop on by. Alright, so you have to register before you can change that. Someone suggested in the comment section that putting the monster stuff on would help you, but no. Yeah, uh huh. Oh, that's the gourmet meat buying guy. At least we know where he is now. I would like to register my horse. Looks like you got yourself a new steed. You want to register it? Yes, please. Understood. What is that? Can that thing you be riding be the fabled Lord of the Mountain? Indeed it is. So my camera says. Why in Hylia's name would you bring something like that here? I'll be cursed. Aww. But it's cool. So yeah, guess you can't register it. Oh, I think, I, though I guess you could pick it up and use it to do all the, like, horse racing minigame kind of things. But, yeah. I'm doing some horse battles with it, though. Long swords are amazing for horse combat. That one went over its head. Oh, I don't have very much of a swing arc, so I have to actually time that a little bit better. There we go. Is that NPC going to help me fight? Now he's just telling me what a lovely morning it is. Yes, it is a lovely morning. Alright. Lord of the Mountain, it has been fun, but it is time for you to go back to your people now. Goodbye, friend. We will meet again! Oh! You're actually gonna wait for me. Well, it's nice of you. Holy crap. I thought he was just gonna vanish on me. Hey, buddy. What are you doing over here? Best part about scavenging, you never know what kind of crazy stuff you'll find if you poke around long enough. Busted guardians, old ruins, is all chock full of neat gizmos you can sell for buku bucks. Well then. Alright, let's ride a bit, buddy. There's a Korok puzzle over here I need to do to free up a symbol, so uh, let's do that. And now he can laugh at how terrible I am at throwing rocks. Although I hope the rock throwing doesn't spook him. Oh, 
Goodbye, buddy. See you later. It was fun while it lasted. Damn it! Climb the rock, Link. Ah, almost. There we go. Alright. Now we can delete that stamp. Nicely done. Alright. Now, back onto our regularly scheduled off-the-schedule stuff. We'll go to the Great Fairy, upgrade our armor... And then we'll go head out to the giant forest above the Great Forest, then we'll head into Volcano. Doo -doo -doo. That was a really cool horse, though. I definitely could see if there was ever a horse riding portion of the game that it would be amazing for. Like, taking it on horse races. I wonder if the dude over at that one stable that challenges into the race will be like, Dude, I'm not challenging you. That's the Lord of the Mountain. Huh. Interesting. Damn it. Good news is I at least get those arrows back. I think. I got one of them back. And enough rubies to buy more, so... There's usually a second one right up here. Hiding in the grass today, I see. Hell, that one was, like, running around on my feet. I was wondering if I could just hit it with a sword for credit. And well, we made a good bit off of those guys. We got most of our arrows back. Carrots and our silent princesses. I love this forest. This is a very nice forest during the day. I like the like cicada sounds and stuff, bug sounds. All right. All right. Let's enhance to the max. First off, the flame suit is the most important. Mm. We picked up a bunch of fireproof lizards, so that is uh -huh. actually good. Mm. <sighs> flame breaker helm. Cutscenes. And these. Alright, now let's see what else is required. Swift carrots? Really? You know how hard swift carrots are to find? Wait, and... No. Wait, what did I need the swift carrots for, then? Something on this page required swift carrots. Oh, it was the sand boots. Ah, uh, okay. Smother wing butterflies. Ugh, oh, we have to get butterflies? Those are gonna be so hard to grab up in the, uh fire area. Ah. Uh, we need a bunch of them. We need seven more. 
Well, great. All right, let's get our climbing gear max then. And we can do these another tier because we have the ice key swings. There's so many of those Lozolfo tails, so that's good. Enhancing, Gray Fairy. Mm. Keep enhancing. Wow, we have just uh. enough ice key swings. Mm. All right, and we can upgrade these more with some more icy, icy mm. Lizolfo tails, so we can actually max this whole set. Nice. Uh. And that is why I hoard minerals. Oh, I probably should have uh, done the whole animation. Revel that it's pure awkwardness. Well, we got three more pieces to upgrade. Mm. Mm. Ah. <laughs> and Link was never heard from again. At least we're getting good defense on all these things. Mm. And that's another armor set complete! <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got. So I don't want to use my star fragments on these, because those are still kind of rare. Alright, we need... Oh! We have the four Lionel hoofs and one Lionel gut needed for those. Oh, wow, all these need Lionel guts too? Well, these aren't a very useful suit, whereas the warrior suit is very useful. Let's say enhance our snow boots first. See what it requires. That was a tier one. Yes, I'm well aware of set bonuses. I have many of them. Swift carrots. Of oh, fucking course. I think if they sell them down in town, so I may actually be able to do that. Uh, let's do the pants. Actually, no. Yes. No. No, we don't want to do the pants. Because we, we, we might need the to have the snow boots or something ah. else on while using those. So if we enhance the other pieces, then we'll be okay. Alright, that one's three star. And to get to four star, we need a shard of Farosh's horn and two Lionel guts. We need stealth... Not 29 more stealth fin trouts for the stealth suit. Alright. Let's go see if we can buy a few swift carrots in town, because I'm pretty sure they sell them. This is like the only place you can get them. Well, you can like, scan around with a sensor and they're occasionally near fairy fountains and stuff, but... They're not exactly the most common thing in the world. Carrot field! I would like to purchase some carrots, please. They sure are. Yep. Alright, go to the material shop. Yep, carrots. Oh, and a free lizard on the way in. Oh, yes! Take them all. Oh, they only have six. Damn. Wait, no. All right. You sold them all? Well, that's just dandy. I'm so grateful. How many do I need? 
Well, that gets me one upgrade. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit by the fire, wait till morning, and see if I can't just buy them all. See if we can't get the uh, rest of the carrots. Come on, show me the carrots. You're out! When will you restock? I want more carrots! Ooh, they actually sell Bokoblin Guts. I have plenty of them, but that's kind of cool that they actually stock them. Huh, well, I just have to wait till they restock. Which sucks, but what can you do? At least I can upgrade one. I'll upgrade the snow boots, because I don't see myself going back to the desert all that often, but there's a lot of snowy mountains I haven't yet fully explored, so... Having some better snow boots would always be helpful. All right, Great Fairy, one more upgrade real quick. Mm. Ah. To the max! Snow boots, please. Mm. Octorok balloons and swift carrots. That actually kind of makes sense. Like, you're kind of like walking on mm. air. I wonder, since they're single items, do I get bonuses for them? Ooh, Octorok mm -hmm. eyeballs and Rushrooms? Done. It's tier 3, this thing. Now I won't have to nerf my defense when I'm wearing these things. Nice, nice. And what do I need for the final one? A Nadra scale and seven more Swift Violet. That's actually not too bad. All right, let's see what our stealth set or our suit bonus is for the uh, fire suit. Where is our fire suit? There it is. Kind of was hoping for having more armor than that. I am unable to be lit on fire. That is actually pretty useful. All right, but first we have somewhere to go. Um, honestly, I think this is the best shrine to travel to. So before we continue our M Goron Mountain quest, we're going to go check out that forest. All right. Oh, headshots are only double damage? Interesting. Thirteen shrines to go. And it is a really, really warm out here, so I need to throw my helmet on. Yeah, let's just wear the whole suit. Why not? Um... And we take the circle bombs. And away we go! I'm almost certain there's a Korok on top of this. Oh, hey! There's Dinroll. Jackass. Really? There's no. This would be the perfect spot for a Korok. You kidding me, game? Kidding me? Okay then. Um, awkward. Um, am 
Come on, make it, make it, make it, make it, make it! Nope. And Link was melted that day. Oh, it put me- oh my god, it put me back here. Um, okay then. New plan. <laughs> Deep in the forest resides a little of a spear in the form of a rabbit, so that whoever is skilled enough to hit it with an arrow receives a handsome reward. Alright. Let's try that again with less swimming in the lava. Turn the correct way! No! Stop orienting yourself that way. There we go. You have no control over the orientation of this cart while it's in the air. Which is really annoying. fun. And now I look like an idiot because chat just suggested Rivali's Gale, and that would have actually gotten me off of that. Damn it. That is a much better solution. Alright, so I'm going straight to my left. No, I need more Octorok thingies. So I'm gonna have to up. No, 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 fire! I'm gonna probably have to upgrade the uh, sand shoes with Octorok eyeballs. Oh, it's the ostrich, okay. to do is throw my uh, targeting sensor on the uh, butterfly. So what is, do we have that butterfly is the better question. Butterflies, butterflies. Crickets. Smotherwing. Oh, there's one nearby. Okay, let's see what the minimal suit we can have so we can have as much stealth as possible. Okay, we can do it with this much suit. Do we have any fire immunity potions left over? Did I get rid of them all? Oh shit, I never cooked more of the uh, other stuff that I need too. Shoot. Over this way somewhere. Here, butterfly, butterfly. And how many do we need? How many do we have? We have two. I think we needed 13 more. Oh, I see them. Fucking scare them away, bird. Okay. 
bomb did not scare them away. Bombs are a normal thing on Death Mountain. Come here, you. See them. Ow. It very nearly knocked me into the lava, too. Well, no loot for me. It's not beeping anymore. Oh, wait. Over this? Oh, I see him. Come on, little butterfly. Stop going over top of the lava. There you go. Another one this way. Items. Damn it. Oh, I see them. There's a couple lizards, too. Got scared away. Okay, I got to that one before it vanished. Well, that sucks. There's still more over this way, though. Ooh. This way, huh? Oh, I see it. Come here, little butterfly. See this one. It's up. All right. See a lizard? Where's your butterfly friend? This radar is, oh, there you are, the best thing. Come on, little butterfly, fly back this way. I've almost got enough of you and your friends. All right, how many do I have now? Eight. Need seven more. And higher up we go. Oh, six more. Oh, 
we clean this area out. Oh, hello. This way, huh? Oh, right near the stone Talos. Yeah, that won't be hard. stones. Yeah, I must hit two. There it is. Gotcha. Another one this way. What can I do it without waking the Talos up? That is the question. Is I think yes. Butterflies first, then loot. Okay. Is there another one around? To uh, twelve, three more. Oh, I see two. One. That one just fly away. Oh no, there it is. A little butterfly, come back to me. All right, one more. This way. Aha! Damn it! Alright, that wasn't a smother wing, so that's fine. Alright. Back to shrine, thank you. I'm gonna go kill that Talos, and then we'll go... Head on to the next thing. Alright, instead of stealth, let's go with climbing gear. Fire! Woo! Damn it! I had to waste her Nervosa. Ooh, diamond and two rubies. That is good. That works for me. Let's head on over to this giant foresty thing, which is somewhere over here. Oops, some swift violet. We need some of that. Ooh, 
There's a lot of Swift Violet over here. Love this climbing set. Up, up, and away! Come on, there's gotta be a Korok or something on top of this pillar. No? Alright, next pillar over. That one actually has a flat top. And then that creepy dark forest over there is our destination, it looks like. That'll be fun. Maybe we can just jump up the mountain's tops. Really? This would be the perfect place for a Korok. Huh. Not even a pinwheel thing. All right. So looking at it, I'm guessing this is our intended entrance because it's got a bridge. I do kind of want to experience whatever the hell that is, how it's intended to be experienced. Still no Koroks. That place just looks ominous as fuck. Look at that. Just a void of darkness. Oh, I see a little spots of light. Let's see if there are any like stealth fin and stuff, because this is like Elden Mountains. That actually looks like the muck. And that is more so. Woo! Did that one perfectly. Two bombs, three skeletal book or stall goblins. Really, Wolf? Really? You're just gonna. That's right, leave. Yeah, is that water? No, that's the muck. That is the instant kill muck. Why do I hear... Is there a dragon going over top? See a dragon. Hey, wolves. Go fetch. Yep. All right, you're bad at fetch, and I'm bad at throwing the ball. But I got two of you. Good, good. Everyone's good. Looks like a Rito temple, maybe? Oh, look at that. There's all kinds of pillory things leading up over here. Totally came about this one the wrong way, I think. Oh shit, one faked me out! Oh yeah, that does not look creepy as shit. Well, we'll go check it out next time on more daily Breath of the Wild. So be sure to subscribe, comment down below, 
and we'll see you next time.